Welcome, Collective. Thank you guys very much for joining me today. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get started with your read. I got a deck here I haven't used in a while that I got called to. So we'll see what message needs to come forward for the Collective. What does the Collective ooh, need to hear the most? This deck is wanting to talk. They get like that sometimes. You set them aside for too long and they're just itching to deliver a message. So the one that fell out was the Force Shocker. That's our Heart Shocker, guys. Ooh, right next to Deceit. Attachment, angel of love, hostilities. Oh my goodness, I think we're talking about love life today. And caring connections. Oh, okay. so you have, I tell you right now, you have an ex who has not let go of you and does not want you to start any new relationships. I don't know if it's something you're currently dealing with or something you have been dealing with or had deal, dealt with in the past. It's just like they're just, they won't let you go. They don't want to let you go. They, f this is, I don't like this energy. It feels really obsessive. I don't know if they were physically abusive in the relationship, but they are very controlling, very controlling. I don't know if they've actually gone after somebody new that you've had in your life like starting a new relationship and then that person has their vehicle vandalized, their home vandalized, or they get jumped and get beaten up or get in a fist fight. Like, your past person's a piece of work, whoever this one is, guys. I can feel it in the energy. They're kind of scary. Jeremy. I don't know if you had to move. Yeah. Oh my good God. Okay. So the sixth chakra, that's our third eye chakra. The first one, uh, it's our base chakra. It represents money. It represents our physical health. I got to tell you this like, this person has spies in the community too. This past person of yours. They got like little karmics running around, spying, keeping an eye on what you're doing, watching what you're doing. I literally get told that like physical health or your health or safety is a concern here. This is not a nice person, whoever your ex is and whoever their little minions are running around the community. Not nice people. I do feel like they put you at risk. The seventh chakra, that's our crown chakra. Uh, I don't know if your intuition has been telling you lately like you need to move or you need to leave or you need to put distance. Go traveling, like leave. Oh boy. You need to listen to what your intuition is telling you, you're being warned. Like I said, this might be something you've already gone through in the past. You're getting storm warning though. I don't know if you have a restraining order against this person too, or you've had them arrested in the past. I just get like you need to leave and put physical distance in between you and whoever this person is and and it's like they not letting them find out where you went is a big thing them not knowing your location not knowing your phone number not knowing your address not having any way to be able to spy on you or to find you because they also like i said they have minions they have other minions too it's almost like needing to cut off an entire community because you don't know who's who at the zoo even people who you thought were your friends actually are working on behalf of who this other person is on this this person from your past Yeah, I see needing to make a fresh start or trying to make a fresh start. Trying to decide where to go. 
to start a new chapter somewhere where you can find work and make money but I keep getting somewhere where you can remain anonymous too and they won't find out where you are um, yeah it's like your old home and your old life because this person is is it like the cards it makes me feel like this person is dangerous it's like that needs to that chapter needs to end you can't be there anymore you can't stay there anymore you have to leave is what the cards are saying like i said this might be something you already did Uh, I don't know if you're I keep getting the church with the hierophant it's like the church helping to give you the means to leave and maybe even a safe place to be or a safe place to go to to start over because I kind of get like a little network and it's like, it all ties in the higher font, nine of pentacles, the world, the four of wands, the three of pentacles. I get tied in like, um, it feels like a network and it feels positive and it feels like people who want to help and people who will keep your secret to help keep you safe. Justice. There's something legal going on here too. I said, I don't know if you're currently got some kind of legal thing going on against this person, like a restraining order or, or, or charges that might be going to trial or something and it's like needing to get away and get somewhere safe yeah it's like you need to worry about your safety during that time because that person is not just gonna uh, roll over for the law and take whatever punishment is coming they'll try and intimidate you and scare you and harm you and shake you so that you walk away from it whatever comes forward like i don't know if this is something you've been through in the past i keep getting like a judgment will be in your favor whoever the judge is will see this for what it is and we'll see how violent that person is and it will be ruled in your favor so i'm not sure if this is like this might even tie into possibly a divorce or or assets and money that has to get split up it will be seen that this person was physically abusive. It will be seen that this person is still hostile and trying to attach to you and is dangerous. I keep getting like judgment will be in your favor. Page of Cups. It is good news coming to you. I said, I almost feel like it's money. Part of the judgment is money that you get granted. Uh, this person is going to take this judgment very badly. It's like, oh God, I don't even like saying this out loud. Mm, but I say what the cards say. Almost like planning your death, like that angry. That's why you need to leave. And you need to hide where you've gone as much as you can and find a way to defend yourself against this person. Oh, they are nasty. And they hold a grudge, like a savage grudge. This person who you're getting away from, this violent, abusive person, will never get over this. They will never get over the two of you separating and feeling like they lost control over you. They will never get over having to give you money having like a judgment or feeling like their character got besmirched or whatever even though it was just like the truth coming out of who they are they're still going to feel slighted and they are not going to get over that they have a raging anger problem no self-control or very little self-control oh yeah you need to pack up and go that's what the cards keep saying you need to pack up and go 
and hide hide where you've gone from this person including everyone in the community because like i said they got little spies and i keep feeling like it's some of them you might guess who they are but some you might not you might not even realize there's ties there they they'd be like strangers to you that you pass in the street you wouldn't think twice of it because you don't know who they are but they know who you are and they're pointedly showing up in places to watch you to report back to this person you need to go is what the cards are saying physical distance and hide where you've gone from this person yeah like hermit mode straight up hermit mode Spirit, can you please give the collective more? Because this person will actively work, and I think they probably already have been. They will actively work to take your blessings. Like, I could feel it with the caring connections. I felt like almost like a new love or a new romance coming forward. And then I felt like they were a target. They got targeted. Something happened to them. Because your past person is really violent and went after them it's like this person will try and block your blessings spirit can you please tell me more traveling if if you want i keep getting like you can have these blessings you can have wonderful things in your life your wheel of fortune can turn you can have a beautiful new chapter but you literally need to travel and get away from this person that is the only way otherwise this person will keep you stuck they will keep after you and they they won't give up until something really bad happens to you at their hands yeah you need to get way away from this and whenever i keep feeling like there's some kind of money that comes forward in that court situation it's almost like using the money to to be able to get away Four cups going yeah traveling 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 and that's where your best hope lies in traveling and in getting away from them and putting distance Mm-hmm. Because they are like the devil card. They are an anchor that will hold you back. They will do harm to you. They already have, and I feel like they will keep doing more for as long as they physically can. It's like being able to take back control of your life. Being able to choose another path and to take yourself completely out of the situation and build a new situation for yourself. That's where your victory lies. That's where your happiness lies getting away from this abusive person who will only keep you chained chained up and only hurt you that's what tarot's saying that's see, i don't like reads like that i don't know if this is like a warning for somebody who's in this right now or if this is something that you've gone through and tarot's just kind of acknowledging your journey but this person this past person of yours is they're a bad one holy cow Yeah. Staying away from the spies. Moving away from the spies. Don't tell anybody where you're going almost or what you're doing. People who might have ties to them. Choices, all about choices. Choices, choices, choices. Yeah, choose wisely who you tell things to. So that it doesn't get back to them. That's what I see in the cards. As that's how dangerous this person is. You know, move away. And make sure they don't find out where you've gone. So that you can live a new life. And you can start a new chapter. And you can start over. Because I do feel like you're being given an opportunity to do that. Whatever the happens in the court there. I feel like that's part of it. 
that's part of your opportunity uh, to move on and to get away. And it's like just seizing the moment and just doing it. Yeah, you get the card at the bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands. Putting the past behind you and looking forward. And there's a ship there. Like this literally might be moving to another country. Getting that far away. Going overseas. Like, it, it, it's a big move is what I keep getting on the cards. It's a big move that what they're talking about to be able to get a new situation and to get far enough away from this old one uh, that it doesn't come back to you and that you're safe. Alrighty guys, that is your read for the day. Take care.